Hello class, this is Miss Augustine, and as you can see, I am on a Chromebook, and you'll notice that when you log into the Chromebook, it takes you to this screen. And so today I'm going to try to show you how to use the graphing application um, that we'll be using with our LabQuest temperature probes. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you're going to click on the apps. And then if I move this off to the side, scroll down, and the one we're going to be using is this one, Graphical Analysis, and it's the Vernier app that goes with the lab quests. So when I click on this, <clears throat> it takes me to the app screen, and you'll notice up here in the upper, I guess that's right-hand corner, there is a launch app. So then I'm going to click on that. And that is going to start the graphical analysis program. Now, in lab, we're going to be using the sensor data collection, and we'll be plugging in the probes directly to the Chromebooks, and it will generate uh, a graph as your data is populating. But just to get you started, I'm going to use the manual entry, and I'm going to click on it. And that gives me a place to enter some data. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this for a second. And I hope that's down there. Yeah, it is. And then I'm going to go over to some data. Come on. Some data that I found uh, for, um, for uh, lauric acid. And I'm going to scroll down here. Come on, scroll, 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 scroll. And I'm going to control C it. And then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to enter it right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing again over here, minimize, and scroll back up to the top. I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the actual temperature data. Scrolling on down here, I'm going to copy it and then go back to Vernier program and I'm going to paste it. Okay, now you'll notice how cool this is. Um, it'll take a little bit longer to pull this off when we're doing it for um, let me get this full screen. Okay, when we're doing this uh, in lab, it'll take you a little bit longer. And in lab, you'll actually begin by titling this. Come on, let me title you. Oh no, I guess that's not where it's going to do it. We're going to come over here and we're going to click over here and we're going to go to column options and we're going to call this particular column. Come on, we're going to call this time and we're going to make it minutes. Sorry, my bad. Our unit is minutes and we're going to say apply. Apply, I say, and then over here, we're going to do the same thing and we're going to go to column options and we're going to go here. And we're going to say temperature, oops, I can't spell, and our units are going to be degrees C, but it doesn't give me degrees, so we'll just go with it. So now we have our data, and then I'm doing manual entry, but over here I can edit my graph options. And so here's where I add my title, and this is going to be freezing curve for lauric acid and we're going to put points but you'll see that you could switch it to line or to both maybe we'll leave it as both okay that's pretty cool 
So now that you have that, and the way I did that was over here with mode. And when we're doing actually the, um, the lab with the uh, lab quests, we're actually going to click down here. And right now we're ha we happen to be in manual entry mode. But when we're doing it in lab, you're going to actually be doing it time-based and you'll be actually able to choose the time units, which would be minutes. Um, and then you can also put in the interval and you're going to leave it manually so you can turn it on and off manually. But for our purposes today, it doesn't really matter. And in the graph portion, you'll see that you can also, if we were doing this with other kinds of data, like pH data or whatever, you can actually apply curve fits. You can add annotations. So here, just for the sake of argument, I'll throw in an annotation and I'll say um, trial one. And I think this lets me pick where it is. No, we'll just keep it. So we could just put that in as trial one. I'm not sure if you can move it. Might be that you can Maybe we can't move it. So anyway, and you'll notice that when we put in our titles for the data sets, it labeled our axes for us. So if you wanted in the title, I suppose you could change this and write freezing curve for lauric acid. And if you wanted to add to it, you could say, let me see if it allows me to do a new line. No, it doesn't. I would say... Um, time versus temperature. For instance. So and if you hear beeping, that's my dogs going in and out. Um, so now that we have this, we could go in here and click on this little document and we could do, for instance, a save as. So here I'm going to label this um, lauric acid. Oopsies, I can't spell. Lab. And I would save it in probably my lab quest folder. And save. Save, I say. Now, when you're clicking up here, you'll see that you can also do a save as or an export. Now, open is once you've saved it and you go into your program, you're then able to reopen these. You could also export it and you can choose as an image or as the actual folder, the, the file, which I'm using right now, so that when you're in the Vernier graphical analysis program, you could reopen it and do fun things with it just for fun, I'm going to save it as an image because an image is how you will probably save it to your save it to your um, Google Drive and that would then allow you at some point it's going to open up here that would then allow you to just cut and paste it into your lab report. Just joking, it's not going to do it. Oh, here it comes. Okay, so here it's going to let me save it and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to call it lauric or freezing, freezing curve ping, and I'm going to save it into that same folder. And then I just wanted to show you some other things you can do. So here you can add a new data set. So if you're going to first uh, melt it and then freeze it or do multiple trials, you would add those here. And then up here, your choices are from here. You can choose one graph at a time, which we only have one. You can choose two graphs. You can choose just the table, in which case all it would show you is the table. You could show just the graph, or you should 
you could show, I like to show both the graph and the table. And um, the other thing, as I said, that you could do from here is if you wanted to apply a fit, you have options, linear, uh, proportional, and it gives you what it looks like. Um, and none of these apply to what we're currently doing. So inverse squared or uh, power, whatever. Um, but in our case, none of them work. So we're just going to leave that out. Um, and again, that would be how you would go about dealing with your data. And then from that point on, you would be able to get your image, as I just showed you, and you would be able to insert it into your lab report. This is Ms. Augustine. I'm going to sign out now. Hope uh, this helps.